In this lecture, let's understand the reset sequence of the ARM Cortex M3 and M4 processor. It will answer the question, what happens when you reset the processor? Remember, the addressable memory space of the processor always starts from zero. The beginning of the memory space starting from zero actually contains the vector table. Vector table is nothing but a table of information about the initial stack pointer value and uh, various exception handler addresses. We will talk a lot about vector tables and its contents in the later videos to come. So don't worry about the vector table as of now. What I wanted you to understand uh, here is that uh, the sequences after you reset your processor or say your board. After reset, PC is loaded with address 0. Then the processor fetches the value at 0 into the MSP, that is main stack pointer. That's how your main stack pointer gets initialized. So processor basically first initializes the main stack pointer. So the question is who puts the valid value into the location uh, zero? Yes, it's the programmer's responsibility to put the valid value at the location zero. Basically taken care by your startup code of the microcontroller. Next, the processor read the address of the reset handler from the memory location 4 into the program counter. So it is very important to store the address of your reset handler in the memory location 4. Then the processor jumps to your reset handler and start executing the first instruction which you wrote there. If you are wondering what's the reset handler, let me explain to you. Reset handler is nothing but a normal function written in assembly or C language which you want to get called whenever processor resets. In the reset handler, you can do initial device specific or microcontroller specific initialization such as uh, configuring clocks, configuring hardware block, uh, reinitializing the stack space before calling main function of your source code. So basically it's uh, just a function uh, which gets called prior to your main function. After the required initializations, you can then call your main function from the reset handler. That's how the control comes to your main function in your source code. I hope you understood the reset sequence of the processor. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.